if you're not careful and you no clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you will end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old, moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum humbuzz, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby, because it sure as hell has heard you. Level 39 Enchanted Forest Survival Difficulty Class 0 Safe Secure Devoid of Entities Level 39 is the 40th level of the back rooms. It was discovered on 14th of January, 1998, by an anonymous wanderer. Description Level 39 is a series of twisting dirt paths with an expansive oak forest covering both sides. This level is finite, spanning an approximate 300 kilometers, 190 miles, across in a circular shape. Level 39 does not have a day-night cycle, and is instead stuck in a constant state of late dusk. Despite normally appearing during the time which level 39 constantly emulates, celestial bodies have yet to be observed within level 39. The temperature of this level varies between 20 degrees Celsius and 23 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit to 73 degrees Fahrenheit. The paths of level 39 randomly twist and curve, sometimes forming ineffective loops and curls. This feature of the level makes wanderers easily lose their sense of direction. The paths within level 39 are usually 2 meters, 6.6 .6 feet, wide. The oak trees of level 39 have been observed to be immovable and indestructible. After further examination, it was confirmed that every single tree is not alive and is instead an inseparable part of the level, since their roots gradually progress and fuse into the ground of it. This level's surface is covered in fallen leaves, dried oak twigs, moss, and somewhat rarely, gravel. Tiny, edible mushrooms can sometimes be spotted on the small layers of grass. This level has a few ponds, though they are usually no wider than 5 meters, 16.4 feet and no deeper than half a meter, 1.5 feet. Level 39 is relatively hilly, with hills having steep inclines of 5 degrees to 70 degrees, which makes it so that some parts of the level are hard to access without proper equipment. Wanderers who have visited level 39 state that it felt unnaturally calming to them. Most of them also stated that they experienced an intense feeling of comforting nostalgia, even though they had never seen the level or anything similar to it up until entering it. Much like level 14, the environment of level 39 seems to hypnotize the wanderer, making them stay for prolonged periods of time. In most cases, this leads to wanderers spending unhealthy amounts of time inside level 39, which leads many there to die from dehydration or starvation. It has also been discovered that the effects are much stronger near the center of this level and are nearly powerless near the borders. Luckily, this effect can be nullified by taking a small sip of almond water. Seeing as the hypnotizing effects of the level are easily avoidable, water and food are accessible, and no entities are present in the level, level 39 holds potential for long-term habitation. The Borders The Borders is a name given to the patch of land located near the border of level 39 which is approximately 150 kilometers from the center of it. The area there is relatively flat, and the trees present there are sparse, often possessing no leaves. The temperature is much colder near the borders, as the average temperature there measures at an approximate 12 degrees Celsius, 54 degrees Fahrenheit, at all times. The sky near the borders is always dark and cloudy, this section of the level is quite unstable and dangerous. Extremely strong winds which have been known to knock over wanderers are fairly common near the borders, as are tornadoes and thunderstorms. Because of this, few wanderers attempt to travel past the trees of the borders, 
as the risk posed by simply being in them is far too dangerous. It is suspected that the area behind them is hilly, and possibly less dangerous. MEG agents are currently trying to launch an expedition to further explore these territories. Bases, outposts, and communities. There are no known bases, outposts, or communities on this level. Entrances and exits. Entrances. There are currently only four known ways to enter this level. Occasionally, the trees in the jungle will stop looking as they typically do, and they will begin to resemble the trees of level 39 more than they do those of level 37. These trees will surround a visibly different path in level 37, which will lead you to level 39 if you decide to follow it. Certain parts of level 135 sometimes lead to level 39. One can be certain that they are heading to level 39 by looking at the light levels around them. If it is getting darker, and the sun suddenly begins to set, then it is a sign that you are getting closer to level 39. On the ceilings of some forests in level 499, there are holes which open into the ground of level 39 when climbed through. Entering a certain hole in the walls of level 797 leads to level 39. Exits There are currently only 9 known ways to exit this level. Sometimes, no clipping through the hills of level 39 leads to level 63. Falling into the void of level 63 might lead back to level 39, too. If it begins snowing in the borders, it will become possible to simply no clip into level 129. No clipping into the trees of level 39 occasionally takes you to level 170. No clipping through the ground in level 39 occasionally takes you to 192. Some paths of level 39 might have a few random planks lying on their side. Standing on them occasionally no clips you to level 300. Rarely, strong snowstorms occur within the borders of level 39 which can transport the wanderer to level 420. Certain paths in level 39 will lead to the outer dirt plains of level 448. Falling into a puddle in level 39 will cause one to wake up on the coast of a lake in level 466. In the borders of level 39, you can find a bridge that leads to level A-1.3.